Bleh. I'm going to a real mission. Retrieve combat locks. Got a job for you, 621. One of the Balaam companies has put in a request. Attention, Gun 13 Raven! This request comes from our affiliate Dafung. We're conducting an investigation into the Vespers, Arquebus's augmented human squad. Currently, our focus is on their fourth squad leader, V4 Rusty. Sweep the route Rusty took during Operation Wall Climber and retrieve combat logs from the wrecks he left on his way in. The wall is now under Archibus's control, and they stationed their MT squads there for the Coral Survey. As such, he'll be targeting the brief window where their main force is deployed elsewhere. Keep an eye on the time and retrieve as many logs as you can. That concludes the briefing. And we just captured this place results, gun 13. for Archibus. And we're just immediately, we really are just mercenaries. All right, we're getting at least five combat logs from MT Rex. Mission must be completed within the time limit. Extra rewards based on the logs recovered. Cool. All right. I've got a lot of guns on my my build for not really shooting up the place. I was thinking maybe I need to make another AC for just pure speed. Main system activating combat mode. Commence mission. Search the nearby racks for combat logs recording engagements with V4 Rusty. That's what we're looking for, 621. I'll analyze it on my end. Uh-oh. System log. One-sided engagement. System log extracted from a wreck. Allows one to examine the operation of the craft prior to its destruction. The log indicates that the FCS was operating at maximum capacity, and yet it was still unable to track the enemy. It was completely overwhelmed by V4 Rusty's speed. This was clearly a one-sided engagement. This gives us some more insight about V4 skills. To be fair... <laughs> I'm doing some crazy stuff against them too. Hey, these regular MTs are not a big threat. Uh, text data extracted from a wreck appears to be auto transcription for a voice log recorded by an off-duty pilot. The well we found in Godly is going to dry up sooner than later. We can't. We just can't harvest as much coral as we used to. And what little we do get, the corpse squeeze out of us. They know we needed to raise mealworms. How many more children must we watch starve? Oh, that's some more evidence on what the coral situation looks like. Video record Steel Haze allows one to discern the assembly of V4 Rusty's AC Steel Haze. The Steel Haze appears to be assembled from a Schneider high mobility frame equipped with weapons that allow for swift, agile action. Notably, Rusty appears to favor kinetic weaponries that Vesper members would normally not use. This is nice useful. Go. We've got visuals on V4's AC assembly. It yeah, might go in that direction ourselves. Right as I fire, too. Analyzing. All right. Appears to be a conversation between allies prior to the start of a mission. We can't beat the top Vespers. We're as good as dead. At least Z is off duty. She's the Liberation Front's little sister. She doesn't deserve to be out there on the battlefield. She can still love and be loved. Have a family. Worthless. 
Yeah, not what we're looking for, I guess. Stop! What are you? That's five logs. Oi! Get away from me! I didn't expect to get ambushed by a bunch of drones, basically. Uh, communication attempt. Contains leftover data from an attempt to communicate with V4 Rusty during combat. How could you? I know who you are. I've seen Uncle's files. Uh, at least tell me why. Very interesting. This could be worth something. Don't always need to log on. The deserter allows one to examine the commands received by the craft prior to its destruction. No data regarding offensive or evasive maneuvers detected. It appears that the pilot of this craft immediately pulled the emergency eject lever at the start of the operation. Nothing we can sell here. That guy was so fucking Keep afraid. An eye on you, AC pilot. You're no comrade of ours, are you? Oh shit! Wait, you, you killed them all. Now, that's not true. It'll just hold us up if you engage her. Mission comes before everything else. Oh, look, she's covering this body, man. Like the rest of them, just like always. It's really funny how much I can stay in the air without engaging hover mode. Whoops, I fucking dodged into it. Woo! Confirmed. Enemy AC destroyed. Get back to work, 621. Here goes the Liberation Front's, uh, little sister. Rusty's encoded comms log found. Uh, when me comes, Erlong will technology. Elcano, you must hidden then. Hmm. Well, I got seven logs. I'm sure there's probably like Wrap it up. eight to ten Archibus's or something. Our main force will be here any minute now. We've got enough logs to satisfy the request. That's it for this job, 621. Return to base. Yeah, we got enough logs to satisfy the request, and we took out an enemy AC. Within like 30 seconds. I got arms out of that. Two new messages. Two, wow. Go 13 Raven. You backed us some decent intel on V4. I'll report this to Commander Michigan. Additionally, I'll introduce myself. Gun 6 Red. You can call me sir. Yes, sir. Privileged to be among Balaam's best, even if I am stuck whipping you independence into shape. Believe you me, I'm gonna put you to work. Yeah, I'll do all the jobs I can, I suppose, until Registration until I decide not RB23. to. Call sign Raven. Your records have been updated. Granting authorization to perform ACOS upgrades. Ooh. Additional. All Mind hereby invites you to the Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. Hell yeah! The Arena is a virtual combat simulator designed to support the development of registered mercenaries. It also serves as a benchmark to appraise and rank the mercenaries active on Rubicon. We look forward to your participation. Alright, we can get out of the F ranks. OS Tuning and Arena. 
Sweet. OS tuning. Expend your OST chips in your possession to upgrade your AC's OS from the OS tuning menu. Upgrading the OS unlocks features and improves functionality. OST chips can be obtained in the arena. Oh! Well, I'm fucking broke, so I... <laughs> All right. What is weapon? Long shoulder weapons to be replaced with additional hand weapons? Whoa! Fucking slap some bazookas on my shoulders instead. Oh, shit. Unlocks the ability of sorting when AC is overburdened and to manually purge weapons. Purging weapons reduces weight load and improves speed. What? Okay. Manual aiming. Allows for re manual reticle control, but practical usage calls for experience technique. Hmm. I'm intrigued. There's quick turn. Unlocks the quick turn feature, allowing the AC to perform snap turns to side or rear directions. Okay, assault armor, pulse protection, pulse armor. There's a lot of options. Good God. Oh, you can make your repair kits better. You can just outright reduce damage taken. You can increase the speed that you access shit on missions so it doesn't take as long. God. More damage on enemies. More melee damage. Energy weapon damage, explosive damage. Okay, all right. Terminal armor. Terminal armor and allows it to be installed. The terminal armor automatically triggers a pulse barrier when the ACP's AP reaches its limits, uh, greatly enhancing defense until the barrier reaches its durability or time limit. Pulse armor allows it to be installed. Pulse armor creates a pulse barrier that trails the AC, dramatically increasing defensive performance until it exceeds its durability or time limit. Pulse protection. Pulse protection creates a pulse barrier in a fixed position, providing cover from enemy fire until the barrier reaches its durability or time limit. And then armors. Assault armor creates a pulse explosion centered on the AC, canceling out incoming enemy fire and creating a damaging area of effect shockwave. Well, that sounds interesting. Arena, fight virtual battles against copies of ACs created using all mines mercenary uh, slash craft data from the arena menu. Win arena battles to obtain OST chips, opponent AC data, and opponent emblems. You can use OST chips to perform OS upgrades. Now we get like, it tells us how many things we get. And where should we start our fights going against the, uh, other rank F pilots. Well, shit, hold up. We can immediately beat up G6 Red. But it's just his copy, so we'll, we'll leave him be until we're ready. Invincible Rummy, a member of RAD, a dozer faction. Like many other dozers, Rummy is utterly addicted to coral-based drugs, and in his perpetually adult state, he has convinced himself that he's an invincible demigod. Even should reality intervene with a costly defeat, he will forget about the setback entirely by the next day. Only death can dispel his notions of invincibility now. Alright, let's rumble. Welcome to the Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. We'll see how decent my current build is First against this guy. AC, Matt Stomp. Call sign. Invincible Rummy. Commencing evaluation. I'm not really spec for pure AC combat. Main system activating combat mode. I think I could do some things to make it faster. What a fucking drive straight at me, bud! Go for it. Oh yeah! <laughs> you you try to fucking drill me! Ow! Target destroyed. Oh, that's Concluding interesting. Including evaluation. Well done. <laughs> My fucking walking legs! They look so silly! So you don't get any repairs during these fights.
You just gotta be able to defeat them in one go. Index Dunham, Gorilla Leader of the Rubicon, Izzy Optimus Prime. What the fuck? Uh, Gorilla Leader of the Rubicon Liberation Front, a blue-collar worker who uh, who was involved in the construction of the Grid. He is now dedicated to establishing symbiosis with the Coral, building a future for Rubicon free from planetary closure. Inspired by Father Dolmayan's ideals. Able-bodied and eager, he is zealously dedicated to the cause, but he's more at home in the construction yard than the cockpit. So, like, you see, <laughs> see, they're rank F because they suck. I'm rank F because I just got access to ranking up. We can close the gap. I wonder if you can actually like, do Arena everything at once. Aptitude evaluation program number twenty-eight. I rank doubt it. F. He's got an even. Bigger Subject gun than AC. I do. Burn pickaxe. Call sign. Index Dunham. Commencing evaluation. Main system. Activating combat mode. Fly straight at me. Just do it. I'll fucking. No. <laughs> okay. Good for you. Hold up, I had to fucking reload everything. I guess I could land real quick. Back to flying. Whee! Ooh! Damn! Target destroyed. You didn't dodge that. Including evaluation. Well done. <laughs> I like how we get, like, a very small amount of money, too. Like, here's 37,000. You can use it to buy ammo, I guess. G6 Red, Gun 6 of the Red Guns, the Balam's group, uh, Balam Group's AC squad. As a young boy, Red's life was forever changed when he saw the news broadcasts of Commander Michigan's brutal triumphs in the Jupiter War. Red trained through blood, sweat, and tears in order to emulate his idol, supporting his impoverished siblings all the while. When the Balam admission examination finally came, he won his place in the Red Guns at the very moment he stood to attention to greet the squad. Wow, they were some, that impressed, huh? Well, <sighs> ready to prove that I'm better than him. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 27, rank F. Final evaluation. Subject AC, Hermit. Call sign, Gun 6, Red. That's a cute emblem. A little Hermit Crab. Commencing evaluation. With a cannon in its head. So he's got a pistol and a fucking, like, bazooka. Main system, activating combat mode. Where the fuck is he? There you are. Uh, uh, oh my god! He really did just come up to me me and say, ha ha ha. Here's your first real test, pilot. I underestimated you, Red. You've got very good damage output. I 
Doesn't even matter. You got your first licks, but that's all you got. Target destroyed. This concludes F rank evaluation. Well done. <laughs> All right, getting out of the F ranks. Get me out of here. I go up now, right? Like I go above and beyond. Incoming comms. Congratulations. You have surpassed rank F. Yeah. We are glad to oversee your development as a mercenary. All Mind exists for all mercenaries. Thanks, All Mind. Now I'm. Oh, I'm still right now. Damn it! Well, at least now I'm the top rank, yeah. Wah! <laughs> How am I gonna do this? Boost kicks. Boost kicks. Uh, hit with heavy impact by combining the speed of an, ass an assault boost with the sheer weight of the AC. Hold middle mouse to enable manual aiming. I wonder if there's any real benefits. It's what I wanted to do was like go into like, like eventually do like manual aim build stuff. But I don't actually know if there's like a supreme benefit to it. I'm sure there's a little bit. I noticed in like it's very easy to kind of like just miss over and over and over again with the automatic like tracking shots. Hmm. I wonder if he can undo any of these. Look at I'll grab boost kick. Okay, it costs a little bit of money to reset, but you can reset. Control R while equipped activate pulse armor. When equipped activates automatically when AP falls to zero. Okay, so terminal armor is like a save you from death armor. So it's literally like if you die, it will activate And you get a chance to kind of like reset. I think I'll just fucking take that, honestly. <laughs> I assume that the more OS upgrades I have, the more it costs. Yeah, expend 8,000 versus 4,000. Okay. Terminal R. Just in case something really fucks me up without me, like, being prepared, that's what that's for. I'd rather have that over just, like, I need to try to activate my defenses. Hmm. Do I want a better set of... Or like a chest? I feel like a, <laughs> a better chest would be good. This is like my fucking posture after like having to sit in a chair all day. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
What does firearm specialization do again? Improves tracking performance. That would be pretty nice. I think what I'll do, so because we already have some okay arms that are like 128. Let's see if we can get a like decent chest. I want to see like, would any of these super slow me down? Because we're at 289 boost speed. Obviously going into like a heavier armor slows us down. But in exchange, what do we get? Uh, attitude stability, less likely the AC is a stagger. I want it. <laughs> I need to stop doing this. Ooh, wait, is this a different blade? Because I didn't sell my blade, right? Or did I? I might have. <laughs> I might have sold the blade just to, like, fund my need to fucking spec myself out. Okay. <laughs> no, it doesn't look right. <laughs> it's so bad. It's huge. And my legs are like scrawny. Okay. It, it, I should Got still be fast enough. The client is the Rubicon Liberation Front. Really? Here's the briefing. The loss of the wall dealt us a heavy blow. Yeah? Yet, we believe you are more than a corporate pawn. Perhaps we can even work together. I want you to investigate Baus Arsenal Number 2, a major MT factory in the Bellius region. The Baus Corporation sells to anyone, but they've been essential to maintaining our firepower. Now, their second arsenal has gone silent overnight. If it were only a comms failure, a simple check-in would do. But, well, after the Strider, more cautious voices have gained influence. Yeah. This isn't our finest moment, but would appreciate your help. Hey, if you're willing to pay, I'm willing to play. Some advice before you go, 621. Expect the unexpected. Okay. I mean, I'm always expecting, like, an AC or something to show up in one of these missions, so... Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. Investigate Baus Arsenal number two. I've been checking the perimeter, and I'm picking up nothing. What happened here? Uh, I don't know. It's probably... It's too quiet. One of the Vespers came in here and fucked things up. Go that way. Watch out, six Whoa. to one. Ugh. Fucking go down, 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 down. Six to one. Watch its shots and see where they're coming from. I am already on that. Ah! Of 
fuck was that? MDD. Encoded comms. Was that mech behind what happened here? 621. Continue the investigation. Roger that, Walter. I'm not a fan of being shot at by invisible enemies with high-powered beams. I'm going to be a little bit more cautious about flying straight in. It's got you in its sights. Oh, Jesus. Another one of those stealth mechs. Don't let it outpace you, 621. That was a good hit. 621. I think there's more than one this time. Use your scanner. Mark your targets to undermine their tricks. Whoa! What the fuck? There's a difference between, ah, uh, there's more than one, and, oh yeah, there's one immediately beating you up. Ugh. Keep going and stay sharp. Why am I getting fucking jumped by invisible fuck? I should, you know, I know I said that like, oh yeah, I'll be prepared. Well, I wasn't actually for invisible fucking enemies just jumping my ass. It was not in my thought process. Now I'm just staying on the fucking ground unless I get blasted out again. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. See, I told you to expect the unexpected. I know, Walter. Where do you fucking go? There's no way I killed him. Maybe I did. <laughs> ah! hey, if you're gonna fucking stay there, I'm on my way. AP at 15%. That's fair. Oh, Two Robert. repair kits remaining. Oh my god, repair kits do something. Holy shit. Preparing barely did anything for me. Unidentified mechs destroyed. Keep going, 621. Hey, as long as the boss is invisible, if there even is a boss in this. <laughs> is it gonna affect your budgets? I mean, I don't like that. No doubt about it. This water. What happens if I touch the water? Nothing. It contains faint traces of coral. Must have been an underground vein. House was hiding a well all this time. This is a pretty big combat arena. Whoa! Six two one above you. What? Oh my fuck! Three of them. No. Four. Oh my god! Off one by one, six to one. Bro, why? What the fuck do you mean, shield? One of them's deploying pulse armor. It won't be easy to break. Prioritize the others. Ah! One repair kit 
remaining. All right, you know I'm down to just go go get the fuck out of here. Oh, I hit it! Fuck yeah! AP at fifty percent. <laughs> Nice dodge. Damn it. Oh, you're not the fucking invisible dude. Son of a bitch. AP at 50%. Alright, that's one down, or two down. Where did you go? There you are. Right hand ammunition at 50%. Tricky little bastard. Oh, I hit it! That's what happened! I was like, oh, it must have jumped. No, it fell on its fucking face. Alright, buddy, you've got my full attention. This is where the uh, manual aiming comes in play. Because this shit is not fucking. Oh, wait! I wasn't fucking tracking it! That was the problem? What the fuck? Or maybe I wasn't, like, locked off. I really don't know the difference. Left hand ammunition at 50%. Left shoulder ammunition at 50%. Right shoulder ammunition at 50%. <laughs> Dodge all you want. Seems that's the last of them. This wasn't a simple check-in after all. Head back and rest up, 621. Getting out of here. That wasn't cool. <laughs> I'm not built for getting shot at by invisible enemies. And I'm too, for, too poor to have like a second AC loadout. Long time no see, Walter. Looking good for a change. I see you've got a new augmented human. What happened to 617 and the rest? Their jobs. They did what it took to get us here. Huh. So how's the newcomer doing? Adequately. But Gen 4 augmentation can be unstable. We need to choose our battles. How's things on your end? I found the data our friends left behind. There's something promising in the watch point. Who the hell is Cinder Carla? Do I have any, like, past connections to any of these people? One new message. I see your back, 621. About the coral well that was found at Baus Arsenal number two. That was just a drip coming from an underground vein, and it won't last long. It's not the coral we're searching for. One more thing. I've sent you your next job. This one isn't from the corpse or the Liberation Front. Ooh. You'll see when you check the briefing. It's a personal job from you? Okay. Maybe someone else? Attack the watch point. 
Eliminate the SG squad in the watch point and destroy the device in the control center at the heart of the complex. Concludes chapter. Oh. Neato. Fuck it, send me in. This is a rather personal request from a friend of mine. It concerns a certain facility, a watch point. Once, it regulated the underground flow of coral. Now, it serves to monitor the dormant veins. I want you to attack it. Your objective will be to destroy the sensor valve at its core. The watch point is kept secure by SG, the planetside PCA force, which means it's too hot for the corporations to be seen there. In other words, we're flying strictly solo on this one. Oh boy. Well, do I get a resupply of the mission? It doesn't seem like it. Mm. Fuck, and I'll be able to handle it. Going in under cover of darkness. Be ready for anything. I'm just concerned about the fact that, like, my right click grenade launcher only has 32 rounds. But I guess I'm not supposed to, I'm not, I don't necessarily need to kill everybody in the mission. It's go time, 621. Don't worry, not even the PCA would anticipate a solo independent mercenary. Combat mode. This is the place we just were feels like, it, right? Leave no evidence. If anyone sees you, handle it. Code one five. Intruder sighted. It's just one AC. Who are they with? We can look into that later. Engaging. A lot of lasers flying my way, I think. I want that, that one. That one is what I want to lock on to. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I thought I was plummeting into the ocean. Misses him the job. Alright. <laughs> now that I'm not being blasted at by giant fucking cannons again. Ah, it's every mission, huh? Something just mounted up, shooting lasers at me. Not this place? Where did that AC come from? What happened to the patrol squad? Code 1 8. All units deploy for combat. You're exposed to snipers from all quarters. I bet. Keep moving or they'll shoot you down. Motherfucker! Ah! I kept trying to just like regular jump, <laughs> like boost myself up here, and it wasn't working. Code three one C, we've taken critical damage. Marker data. 
proceed in the direction indicated. Is it this giant gate? No, it's about it. Alright. Two repair kits remaining. That's the watch point's control center. The target's inside. Make your way in. Hey, anybody else wanting to blast me on the way in? Uh oh, I don't I don't like your cutscene in the middle of a mission. Attacking a watch point. You're incorrigible, Handler Walter. How many of your dogs must I kill before you learn? Uh oh. Is that Sula? Pitiful dog. I feel sorry for you. I really do. Blah! You may have survived a little longer. You had a different master. C1249. Sula. He's an independent mercenary who survived first gen augmentation. Don't think twice, 621. Kill him before he kills you. You got One it! Repair kit remaining. You don't gotta fucking tell me twice! We're 619 and 620. Dead? Which ones did I kill, I wonder? Don't let him bait you. Focus. What of Gen 4's lot? I hear you make fine hounds with the right training. Shame you'll have to die here. Oh, oh I'm chilling on the bridge, dude. Leave me alone! <laughs> I tried to do one of the little kicks. Yeah, it's not working. Oh, <laughs> good. Not the call, not the call. Not spec for that. Walter, stay away from the watch point. Confirmed. Enemy AC destroyed. Forget about him, 621. You did good today. Back to work. <laughs> Penetrate the control center and destroy the target. Still on mission, I guess. Anything I'm missing out here? Nope. That's the edge. There's gotta be like stuff that I've like missed. In regards to like finding random loot, but I, I've kind of accepted that something. Google it or something. But I'll probably end up beating the game before that point. Kind of fine with what we've got currently. Obviously, whatever upgrades I can get along the way.